my, my very last question before I let you go. We sure. know that you know this thing is going to be over one day. Yes. And, and um, you know, as as a, a leader, how sh you know this is the perfect time to reimagine the future, because right Absolutely. right now you know is the the reset button being pressed. <laughs> now, as a leader, what kind of future uh, would you reimagine out of this? I hope I'm an optimist. I hope it would make all of us appreciative of workers, of workforce that have been neglected and ignored before. It will make us more sustainable. So all this remote working, right? I mean, it's, it's not exactly a new concept. IBM has been exercising this or implementing this for 20 years. Um, the amount of uh, rent you can save, uh, carbon emission from transportation you know, for commuting to work, it's been reduced. So I think this is going to re-gear us in thinking of, oh, how, how can remote working work for us rather than being an afterthought? Uh, I was speaking at an event uh, last month at Impact, it's one of the largest Japanese investors here in, in WA. So they're a liquefied uh, a gas company from Japan. And for the longest time, they have difficulties attracting the, the, we, the female workforce because they want to have more women, they want to have more gender diversity within the, the organization. And they were just saying this whole entire crisis had made them rethink about how to engage or re-engage uh, mothers who have just given birth to babies or people who need to be at home and, and, and care for the family. I mean, studies have proven that when women are doing that at home, they are actually more effective, more, more productive mainly because they, they want to earn a living and they, they work so hard to prove their worth. So how do you then, you know, enable them with this platform? So I think um, a lot of good things are going to come up from that. And uh, I'm, I'm actually quite optimistic about it. Um, another thing I'm, I'm thinking that's going to help us, um, uh, help us rethink ourselves as a business leader or a, or a country leader is how does leadership look like? <laughs> How is leadership going to look like? And what are the kind of leaders will we be supporting in the future? During the good times, it's hard to tell, right? Um, the con artists from the genuine um, champions. But I think through this whole thing, it, it becomes really apparent, yep. right? Who speaks the truth? Who doesn't? Yep. Uh, who can really lead with calm-headedness? Who doesn't? Who, who is referring to facts and evidence? and who doesn't? Uh, and, and, and all that is going to, and, and why it's so important to uh, listen to scientists, you know, refer to facts, because if the virus is going to hit you, no amount of fake news is going to stop that. <laughs> yeah? So it is so important to, again, reevaluate what is, what is your direction? What kind of information do you feed yourself to make that decision for the company and for the people in the community that you're leading? or you're operating in and again you know market evidence scientific facts and, and it's all there data analytics has been around for a while now but are people using it for using something else to manipulate people to to get people to buy things so i think all that is going to come out and i think will be it will be a very interesting time having said that we do have to be aware of the digital divide that we talked about at the last week's uh, teleconference so um, yeah, just because you and I have internet access, it doesn't mean that uh, there's a lot of people in this world that have access to that too. So if they don't have access to that, that means they're going to be deprived of this session, for example, how to get inspired, how to lead and how to, you know, survive. So we just got to be aware of that. You know, we need to encourage our governments uh, to invest in uh, good, you know, uh, network good to give us good wi-fi access to give us fast and prompt wi-fi access uh, we need to also enable schools uh, organizations companies uh, the ability to have access to digital equipment so that you know we can all function and operate as normal so yeah a lot of work to do yes a lot of work to do yes indeed but i mean i mean and human beings are very innovative we're very resourceful i'm pretty sure we'll find a way Thank you.